All right, so let's start by getting familiar a little bit with this uh, application and what we have here. So we talked about logging in and choosing our project. And so we can see we have a list of work orders uh, here on the list. Now we can always refresh our data and see if there's any new work orders that have come in. Um, this will update every five to six minutes um, as far as our servers go pushing data to you. But it's always good to refresh this data every time we hit the screen to see if anything has disappeared or appeared in our queue. And so when we get to a job, let's say we were arriving at 8 Plitt Street in Farmingdale, New York, all we have to do is simply click on this particular work order and we can see in a map where we're at. Now, because I happen to be in Sarasota, Florida, it's not going to show me being in Farmingdale, New York. But when you were at the correct address, you will see that you're at the correct address because you can see a marker on the map and you can see your home marker on the map as well. So it's a very, very good tool to let you know that you're at the right address. In this particular case, I happen to be 1,059 miles from my address, so I'm a little far. But this application is very, very easy to use, and I think that you can see as I scroll down already how to use it. These are picture labels. These are picture labels that um, we already are using inside of PreserveSoft. Abandoned vehicles, AC unit, address boarding, clean refrigerator. And if you remember the list inside of PreserveSoft, there was probably 100, 110. And what we did is we scaled those back and we just gave you one thing, like one thing for drywall, one thing for electrical, one, one bucket for evictions, one bucket for exterior damages. And, and we just wanted to make it a lot easier for you Instead of having to choose so many picture labels, we just wanted you to choose about 35 different picture labels. It's very important when you're using this app to always choose the correct label and to come in and out of each label as you're going from task to task. So we can see that we have everything here that you would need to take pictures. Now, when we first show up at a job, obviously one of the first pictures that we're gonna take is gonna be the address. Now, you can see here on my phone that um, the first thing it asked me to do is take a picture. Now I can get instructions. Please take a picture of the address of the house. This can be the address on the front of the house or the mailbox. So for each type of picture or task they're called, there's instructions here that just kind of remind you how to do it and what we're looking for. On some of these there are some videos available for you and you can watch videos on how to complete work orders to kind of give you a refresher course as to what to do. So we'll mark this as done. Now, it's kind of hard on the software that I'm using to record this, uh, this screen right now to, to turn my camera, but you would see that you would have to turn your camera in landscape mode to capture the picture properly. As you can see the icon, icons on the, pic, on the screen, you can see that they're turned the wrong way. And what this does is it forces you to turn your camera uh, horizontally so that you take the pictures in the right way. So. If I turn my camera horizontally here and I take my pictures and I'll keep it vertical just to make the pictures look better, um, all I have to simply do when I'm ready to take my address picture is simply click right here on this camera picture and you can see that the picture has been taken. And I could take multiple pictures and you can see that it works very, very quickly to take your pictures. Now if I go back here, I can see that I took four pictures that are labeled. So let's say I took my address pictures. Now the next thing naturally that you might want to take while you're out doing your pictures would be your property condition report. Well I have a property condition report pictures and so I would walk around my house and take my pictures and as I was taking my pictures I might run across some exterior debris so I'll take my exterior debris pictures quickly while I'm there and I might come across some exterior health hazards, so I'm going to take those pictures. And you can see over here in the uh, right-hand side that my pictures are automatically um, coming up. I come across some exterior personals as I'm taking my pictures. And then I'm ready to go back to my property condition report. And so I'm going to take some more pictures. You can see it's just that easy to take your pictures while you're out in the field. And when you come back to PreserveSoft, all of these pictures are going to be properly labeled 
so that you don't have to spend all that time bucketing them. Now let's say I was on the job and I was there to, um, let's say, do some fencing work. Okay, so I will take my before pictures of my fencing. Now, you can see up here there's this before. If I put my finger on before, you see it changes to during. Now I simply take my during pictures. And when I'm finished with my during, I can press on after and I will take my after pictures. And now when I'm done with the fencing, you can see that I have 13 pictures. And as I'll show you on another video inside of PreserveSoft, they're all labeled before, during, and after photos. So everything that I've taken here, my PCR pictures, my address picture, my exterior debris, exterior hazards, and exterior personals, and my fencing are all labeled. They're actually in PreserveSoft right now waiting for me to complete my PCR form. So as you're out in the field working on this particular work order, you just want to always choose what particular task you're completing and be sure to take your pictures. I'm in during lock work. I'm in after lock work. And now when we go back, I can see I already have seven lock work pictures. So already you can quickly see the benefits of using this program. So um, just make sure, like I said, you're always in these pictures labels because if you're not, the pictures can get screwed up pretty quickly and you would have to change them in PreserveSoft to rebucket them. And the purpose of this is to keep you from bucketing these photos. So that's it on this particular one. Make sure you watch the next video and we'll get deeper into this program.